Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on quadratic inequalities. There's going to be two videos on this topic and in the first one here we're going to look at algebraically solving quadratic inequalities starting with an example where x squared is going to be less than some other value called a squared. So in this example we have the inequality x squared is less than 64. Now when we solve the inequality we want to get x on its own uh, so we're going to treat this as though it was an equation uh, where instead of having an equal sign we've got this inequality symbol. So the first thing we'll do is square root both sides of the inequality. So we're going to get x is less than uh, the square root of 64, which is obviously 8. Uh, but one thing you need to be aware of is that when you square root a number, you end up with a positive and a negative solution. So we can use this plus or minus symbol here. So we get x is less than plus or minus 8. Now why is this? Well, if we have 8 squared, that's obviously equal to 64. But if we have minus 8 and we square it, then this is going to be equal to minus 8 times minus 8, which is also equal to 64. And that's because a minus number times a minus number is equal to a positive number. So we end up with two solutions to our inequality here. X is less than plus or minus 8. So we can represent this as a range of values. So that's going to be X is between minus 8 and plus 8, or just 8 for short. So essentially, this is a range of values that, when squared, give a value less than 64. So let's move on now to have a look at an example where x squared is greater than a squared. So we've got an example of 2x squared is greater than 18. Now, as usual, we're going to treat this as though it's an equation. So we're going to divide both sides by 2, and we'll get x squared on the left. So that's going to be greater than 9. So we're going to end up with two solutions in this example, rather than having a range of values that satisfy this inequality. And the first of these two solutions is going to be x is greater than 3. So we just square root x there to get x. Sorry, we square rooted x squared to get x, and we square root 9 to get 3. But the other uh, solution to this inequality is going to be x is less than minus 3. So we have a positive and a negative solution that satisfy this inequality. Uh, but the reason this negative solution is x is less than negative 3, well, let's just take some example values of x is minus 2, first of all. x squared is going to be 4, and 4 is less than 9 rather than greater than 9, uh, so it doesn't satisfy this inequality here. Uh, and then next, what if we have x is equal to minus 5, so let's just divide these up, uh, then x squared is going to be equal to 25, and 25 is greater than 9, so this one does satisfy the inequality. So we have to flip the sign uh, when we square root it and have minus 3 rather than 3. So we end up with two solutions in the examples where x squared is greater than a squared. If you're feeling ready to test yourself on this topic, then why not do so with our online exam? This is available through our revision platform, and if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which you'll receive instant feedback on. So it's a good way of finding out where you're going wrong and how you can improve in time for your actual exam. If you're interested, you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.